up, y'all? So uh, this truck is back here. But what we're working on today is some audio stuff. So if you don't know, uh, most of these newer cars and trucks, they have this big bulky factory speaker set up. And uh, if you get aftermarket speakers like these, which Kenwood's, but uh, if you get aftermarket speakers, you got to buy a whole new bracket or whatever for up in the mountain because there's no spot for the four holes to screw into the actual frame of the door like on a like on an older model car so today i'm gonna show y'all how you take this factory mount and you get rid of the actual factory speaker that's in it and you make room to where you can mount your new speakers in this bracket without having to buy a new bracket and without needing a whole bunch of specialty tools and all that so i'm heading to the garage show y'all what's going on so here we are uh this is your factory speaker which this is pretty much what it's gonna look like for most Chevys. There's from around, this is a Silverado, so like a, between a 07 and a 13, or 06 to 13, something like that. But the Impalas got the same one. I think the Monte Carlos, the Malibus, Tahoes, all of that. So most of these would be the same. Uh, some other speakers, like other car brands, might be a little different. But normally, what I would do is use a Dremel and cut all of this out. But we're trying to keep it simple so uh, anybody can do this. So you don't need any special tools. Like I would use a Dremel, but you can make it work with these. So just get you some nice little cutters like at the edge, not needle nose pliers where the actual cutting part is way at the bottom. You need something that's sharp on the end. So all you got to do is reach in here, come to the end. And you snip. And basically, you'll snip all the way around until you get all of these cut. So, this is kind of tricky to do with one hand. So, I'm going to go ahead and cut these real quick, and I'll come back once all of them are cut. All right, so now all of this is broken. Well, all of the ends are loose. So you can see that. All you need now is a blade. I'm just gonna cut this rubber surround. And you basically go all the way around the speaker. All the way around and it'll drop right out. This will leave you a nice opening for you to drop the new speaker in. And of course you can clean all of this up. Uh, get it as clean as you can possibly get it. This is just a, a quick way to show you that it can be done without needing a lot of tools or equipment. So yeah, factory speaker, gone, out. Now with all of this rubber that's on here, this is going to get in the way, so you're going to have to go ahead and uh, slice all of this off. I just got a regular razor blade, so we're just going to slide this in. Once you get a little gap in this, you just glide your way around until you got all of the foam off. And this is just so when you get ready to drill your holes for the speaker, you can reach right to this uh, to this flat, uh, hard plastic piece so you're not drilling through foam. So just to get you straight to the point, but get all of this off and I'll show you what we got once the foam is gone. All right, so this is what you're left with once the foam is removed. 
All right, so with the foam removed, you want to get your speaker, and you basically just sit this in like so. So you get this, line it up to where uh, it's straight how you want it, and you're going to get you a drill. Like I said, we're doing this with as few power tools and specialty tools as possible. But just about everybody should have access to a drill. Uh, it was a long time before I had a Dremel, but I always was around a drill. So get your drill. Get your drill bit that's slightly smaller than the screws that uh, come with it. Because the speaker should come with a set of screws. So, And they should be long screws. So You're going to want to drill four holes pick whichever four you want but i'm doing one at the top one at the bottom and then left right so i go ahead and drill these four holes real quick and then i'll come back with the screws so four drilled holes and four screws later we got our new aftermarket speaker mounted perfectly in the factory bracket and this can snap right back in just like factory uh the actual terminals or whatever you can reach them so nothing is in the way you can see the four holes screwed in there so yep so uh this is a simple way for you to mount your aftermarket speakers without having to buy a new bracket now if you don't feel like you know cutting through your old speakers and doing a little work then by all means get the bracket but it is a way for you to do it without buying the bracket if you end up in a situation like uh, like I am now, which I don't have brackets for this. I just got the speakers in the box, and uh, he said put them in, so we're putting them in. Now just a heads up, uh, depending on your situation, you may have to actually splice some of these wire connectors into the factory wires so you can plug them up to the, the aftermarket speakers. Now, uh, on this truck, it was already done by whoever owned this truck before. So they had already had the wire harness uh, spliced off into these instead of the plug that you see here. So instead of having this factory plug still in the truck, they were actually using terminal connectors or whatever on this little end here and this end here. Well, right there, that one. So this truck already had it. So... I didn't have to splice any wires, do anything like that. But your situation, you may need to splice some wires. But speakers should come with the wires, so you'll have everything you need. It'll just be splicing it. But, uh, yeah. So uh, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and do these front speakers. And uh, we will be out the door with this one. So I will catch y'all in the next one.